We have brew number two. Please note that after, on the second day, third day maybe, depending on how you calculate, we have a very enthusiastic bubble generation, which means that the yeast are just munching very happily and consistently and very rapidly on their sugars. And throughout the column of this jar, we have a homogeneous mixture of honey, water, nutrients, and yeast. Very happy to see this, at, cer certainly at such an early date. Now, I did begin to agitate yesterday. And what I found was that when I agitated this, this enthusiastic generation of CO2 was overwhelming for the bottle and simply bubbled up through and kind of got me some mead into my bubbler. So I stopped immediately and I'm going to leave it alone until I see that the rest of my culture begins to slow. And if and when it slows, I will agitate again, get it rolling, and see if I get any more out of it. When I see this go to zero, in other words, that our yeast activity goes to zero, then I will look at decanting this bottle into a secondary bottle and let it cure for the rest of its smoking time and let it sit and generate what else it needs to, put it in a nice safe place and let that be that. But I'm very happy with this new method, which gave me such enthusiastic yeast activity and such homogenous, absolutely from top to bottom, mixture of my basic ingredients, which are simply clover honey, water, that's spring water, nutrients, and yeast. That's all there is to it. Very, very happy with this new method, and I think it and I hope that it turns out well. We'll see in about six months to a year.